I keep doing this myself. I should actually always check before I go live. But I'm already live now, so it's like, bruh. Just give me a uno momento. Make sure to pause that. Uh, okay, wait, refresh it again. Yeah, see, now I'm live. Yeah, and it says I'm streaming Power Wash. That's it. Grand. Okay. Welcome back. Oh. Oh, we got a bit of issues with the internet today. That's unusual. Is something running? Let me check. Oh, that, that, that was weird. It just turned red there. Okay, I think... No, it's not grand, huh? I guess I'll just have some of these odd days, I guess. Give it a few seconds, see if it fixes up. And if it doesn't, then I don't know what's up. Okay, it's back to green. Ah, whatever, you know what? It's only Power Wash. Nobody's going to be raging at, like, Power Wash isn't streaming properly. I didn't even turn, like, change the quality. I don't even know why it's like that. Oh, well. Right, uh, as you can see, um, in the main menu, they actually added uh, three new specials that I think are all community-made. I did check here, but there's no new ones, and there's none in progress, because I finished it last day, or last time I played, should I say, that was probably, like, what feels like months ago now. Uh, but yeah, there's, obviously, I've done the Mars Rover, I think I did that my own time, uh, before I even started streaming the game, and then, obviously, there's these three new ones. So we have the Gnome Fountain, the Mini Golf Course, and the Steam Locomotive. <coughs> and I'm not gonna lie... Those two seem very long, so I think I'm going to do the fountain in the hopes that it's not as long. A Power Wash community job. Restore the fountain to its former glory. Uh, oh, no. Oh, so this is the shit I have, isn't it? Okay. Let's go. Is the sound even on for this? I feel like the sound's not on for this. Nope, the sound is on for this. I guess we just got to get into the game. Okay, that's weird. It's not making any sound. Maybe I turned it down so much because, like, last time was too loud for thing. Mouse controller, feel the view, audio. Maybe just bump that up. Wow, they had, they must have updated, like, the fucking audio or some shit. Or the, yeah, audio settings. Because, like, before, like, it used to be super loud. That's why I had it all the way down here. But I guess I need to actually turn it up now. That's better. Now I can hear just well. And again, I don't know why the internet's having trouble streaming fucking Power Wash of all games, but you know what? We go with a... Oh. I just... Wait, is this... Okay, no. It might be grand. It might be grand. But the moss does not look like it wants to go. God, it's been a while. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I'm using the wrong one. That's why. But yeah, we're just gonna have a nice chill stream. Uh, at least do the gnome and then go from there. I'm assuming this joke is going to be... Is it? Yep, I knew it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, now that I look around... Uh, I mean, it's big, but it's not... That bad, right? Where's the ladder? Oh, <laughs> I literally ask as it's right here. Hey, come on. Over here. But yeah, I haven't played this yet, so... Wait, what's this one? Oh, yeah, that one. Again, it's been a while. Did they update this? I swear this never had this skin before. Did it? Or am I using... Wait, there's only one washer. Oh, maybe... Oh, I get it. Okay, so because it's a community-made one, I think you can't use the ones that you've, eh, that you've used in the other shit. But at least they give you the stuff, actually. That's kind of cool. White and blue. Black and thing. So wait, actually, let me just test again real quick. Oh, that's actually so handy. <laughs> Legit, this is actually such a good fix. If you couldn't switch thing for some reason. And we have a soap nozzle as well if we ever need it. 
Uh, left control. Joe, left control. There you go. Right, is it? Okay, it's not done teaching me how to play the game, even though I know how to play the game. Wait, how far? Oh, I, I was literally going to go out for a jog, like. Right, uh, just tab the shoulder. Yeah, it's been a while. Oh, man. C for A mode. Oh, yeah, that's this. Oh, I've never tried this yet. So you can switch it on and off, and you can move around. Oh, but... Oh, that is so weird. You can still move around with it, but... It feels so weird to try and power wash it like this, though. I'm not going to lie. You'd have to be, like, standing still to do this, right? But I kind of understand why they have it. Especially if you try to do so with the other hand, like I am doing now. Like, I'm just scratching my head. There you go. Oh, yeah, and you get actual money for this as well. Escape the, clo uh, the tablet. E to open and close inventory. And then C. Yeah, it was C. I guess C would be for camera. Right, I think the game is actually finally done teaching me how to play this game again. Not that I really needed it, but, you know, it's there as an option. I don't know why I had to go with the title of the stream as well. I always have to say, like, something very, uh, provoking. About the state of a mother and saying that I am power washing them. Which is not an innuendo for anything else. Right, I think the best place to start would literally be up here, honestly. I don't know if I like the mode, honestly, the, the changing thing. I think I just prefer moving around like normal. Why does it feel off? Something feels off about this now, I'm not going to lie. <coughs> oh. Hmm, sorry for, like, coughing a lot. Once again, choking on water. You know, no, nothing new here, like, you know, how it do be. Yeah, honestly, I didn't know what else I really wanted to stream, so I was like, you know what? Power Wash updated, like, a bit ago. Let, let me go back into that. Let's go back into it and then leave it to rest, just like I did with Psycho no Sutoka. You know, actually, now that I say Psycho no Sutoka, I actually kind of want to play it again. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I actually kind of want to go back into it, because it has been a while. Maybe after all this time, I'll finally be able to complete it. But yeah, I think I already mentioned, this is like a community-made map. That's why it's like in the special slot. Which is kind of cool, like, that they're allowing um, community-made, like, items to appear in the game. That's like a good way to connect with the community, honestly. If only if Bungie would allow that in Destiny. Like, imagine if people could make custom maps. Like, just imagine a Forge mode in general in Destiny. And you could choose to install and uninstall, like, what you wanted as well. But then again, they can't even allow you to do that for, like, the normal content, so I don't see them really doing that anytime soon. But yeah, now that I realize it, like, if Destiny didn't start, or if Bungie didn't start content vaulting shit by now... Yeah, there's no, like... Yeah, it's right here. Why is the reticle disappear? I don't want the reticle to disappear. General, lock, controller, camera. Yeah, just leave that on. Okay, I think that should be better. Yeah, see, now it's staying on. <coughs> I was wondering why, like, uh, why the aim just fell off for a second there. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think I'm too used to, like, power washing like this that I can't power wash uh, with, like, this mode. It just doesn't feel right. Go on, Joe. Clean the little man. The little norm. Kind of gives me Santa vibes, I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> but he looks like he's the king of gnomes or some shit because he has, like, the crown on. But it's not the crown of sorrow, Guardian. Not the one that we're using, anyway. Be sure to rid this place of its nightmares by eliminating the grime, rust, and everything else in between. I'm counting on you, Guardian. 
God damn it, why did I have to men mention Psycho? I actually kind of want to play Psycho now, other than playing Barrel Wash. There we go, finally. I was about to say, if this joke did not finish, like... Wait, oh yeah, I have Tab. I need to remember I can do that. <clears throat> I think for this part, I'll just use the green. Like, nozzle. Now that I think about it, what is this fountain even made of? Right, okay, it's not even going to tell me, because it's... Yeah, Joe, you know, like, it only indicates, like, what dirt you're shooting at, or what type of uh, thing you're trying to wipe away from it. I don't think it'll tell you anything else, like... But I think it was a bet, like, the best bet to start up here, so I could just, like, make my way down slowly. Actually, now that... Mm, is the internet... And yeah, it's still a bit in and out, actually. Again, I don't know why, it just is. Just that kind of day, I guess. Oh well. We'll surely make. <coughs> we'll surely make do. Okay, hold on. Let me. Let me. Oh wait, this is perfect time, Joe. Use this joke. Well, you have the chance. Use your thighs. Use your thighs to open the flask, and take a sip. I'm glad that the camera doesn't, like, lock itself onto thing for this mode. Because it's handy just being able to go all the way around, you know? So, like, if I want to turn this way, I can turn this way. But if I want to go back here, I can go back here. Mm. I swear the power wash symbol looks different as well. In my, like, taskbar. Or not taskbar. Hotbar. Uh, ta yeah, no, it's taskbar, Joe. Because remember the fucking misheard lyrics in that song? It said, lock the taskbar, lock the taskbar. <laughs> El gato! El gato! Fucking love that so much. I actually kind of like that. It pisses people off as well, if I'm being real. Like, people are probably like, just like, the guys! She's saying arigato! She's not saying El Gato. She's not Spanish. But it's like... El Gato! El Gato! I think well, like, when I first saw it, I didn't actually know what it was. So I clicked into the sound to see what the original sound was. I was like, oh my god, this is from Demon Slayer. Of course I recognize this. Let's go. Oh my god, how much of this rock do I have to clean, man? Just to get it to do thing. The, you know, honestly, playing this again has just reminded me, like, how much time I was willing to pour into, like, most, like, just anything else. Just because I couldn't stream anything else back then. Oh, come on, come on. Do, do, do the oak. Do, do, do. Why'd you stop? Why, why are you stopping? There you go. Um, actually, now that I think about it, I wonder if, maybe... Oh, it probably is fucking thing again. Because I swear McAfee has to update every fucking day, like, and I bet that's why the internet's having trouble right now. And I've turned off the notification recently, so it just does it anyway. Maybe that wasn't the good bet, honestly. Maybe I should have just did thing. You know, actually. Let's have a look. Nope, Joe, that's the settings menu. Joe, that's the settings menu. McAfee, open. Because it's not Steam downloading something, because Steam doesn't download for me outside of Yo. Yeah, when I'm playing a game. Uh. <clears throat> Where is it? Settings, automatic updates, off. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll actually leave notify me when updates are available. Let's see if that does anything. Probably won't, but it's better than just leaving the stream to suffer, honestly. Uh, get rid of that. Opera, Opera, you're not downloading something, are you? Nah, you're not. Roy. Okay, never mind. 
Right, I've done what I could. I don't think it's gonna make any difference, though. I'm not gonna lie. Again, it could it, it, ju it could just be an internet like issue today. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I apologize that I do not have like rich inheritance and. Uh, oh well, I was gonna say that, but I kind of do still live off my parents to a certain degree. Right, nice, lovely rock. Clean the rock. Bro, what did I used to talk about, like, when I power washed? Like, I can't, I can't even remember, like. Um, I guess I could talk about, um, how in two days it's going to be, like, Sherry Arbor's birthday. Wait, you don't know who Sherry Arbor is? Sherry Arbor is the main character of her own story called Sherry Arbor's Story. The light novel series that I'm working on right now, and I'm on, like, nearly finishing rewriting volume 10 out of 14. If anything, hopefully... Yeah, I won't say at the end of this year. Definitely, like, next year is when, like, I think I can finally start releasing it into the world. It is a shame, but it is how it is. I just want to make sure, like, I've worked on it enough before, like, going to uh, either get it published by a publisher or, like, self-publishing it myself. I'm going to try and fix as much issues and stuff. I think for the most part, the story's not... Like, the story is consi uh, not continuous, um, it's consistent enough. I just gotta, like, make sure the, um, I, well, I guess the bit way I, like, talk about things in the story just lines up. But yeah, I definitely will have to go over it again for a second revision. I just don't know if it's gonna be a long revision or if I'm gonna just straight up just be like, right, just edit volume one a couple of times. And then get it like to a publisher and see what they think of it, or if I'm just gonna keep going for now. Because again, as I said, I do have like a <clears throat> a holiday coming up, so it's just like, do I really want to bother publish this now and then worry about it whilst I'm on holiday, or do I want to wait until after the holiday when I have all the time to sort it out? <clears throat> mm. Oh, thank God. Right, I think, like, the base of this will actually be the next part I can do up here. But I'll still clean it all anyway. If I did this, it would probably be a bit faster, honestly. Go crazy! Go bananas! God, I'm a nutter for still playing this, honestly. And by myself as well, like. I could at least play with my friend, but nah. He's probably not even up by now, actually, now that I think about it. But I will admit, my sleeping, like, hasn't been going too well. Like, it's not bad that, like, that bad that I'm completely, like, exhausted and tired out. It's just, like, I've been waking up early because of the heat and the, like, how early the lights, um... Hit the lights. How early the sun rises, so... It kind of messed with me for a bit, but I think I'm starting to get used to it now. I woke up at 7 today and not before 7 when I usually get up at 8. Right, um, I think that did the whole thing, so we can pop down here to do this part. El Gato! El Gato! There we go. <clears throat> get the main yoke done. I actually like the uh, Demon Slayer season. It was actually pretty good. Can't wait for that to come round. Well, actually, I can kind of wait. But oh, God. I fell. I have fallen, and I can get up, actually, because there's a ladder here. Where was I? There we go. But yeah, I was gonna say like, I was gonna, I was just like, yeah, I can't wait for the next season. But now I'm like, okay, wait, actually, I can kind of wait for the next season, because like, I kind of have a lot of anime in my plate right now. Like even right now, I'm watching four shows continuously, like week in, week out, and I think they all end at the same time as well, which is so funny to think about. Oh yeah, shit, I need to remember. Tenth of Ju uh, June is when the Takagi San movie comes out. I hope that's the last of the Tagagi san series, honestly. I think it'd be nice to finally cap like one of the many multiple series that I've picked up over time. 
<clears throat> but even Jul after July, I have like probably like one to three, probably two to three actually, like different animes that are going to be continuous that I'm going to be watching week in, week out. And of course, one of them is Love Live again, because for some reason they're literally mad off their rocker and they're like, yo, how about both the animes we have going at the same time, we air them both one after another. And well, that's exactly what they did. They're like, yep, or well, what they're going to do. Because I've, I've looked at the calendar and like, it's literally just like, okay, we have Nijuzhaski like airing now. I think it's on episode 10 as of today. Or going to be today. But then after... Uh, what should we call it? Yeah, but after it's finished, like in July, if it's also going to air on a Saturday in July, Superstar will start back up for season two. And I'm not going to lie, I was kind of disappointed that I was spoiled that there was going to be new characters. I wish I got surprised by that. But I'm also kind of like... I, I'm kind of off-put by it at the same time. Like, I know it worked in Nijijaski, but that doesn't mean they have to do it to Liela as well. I, th I think it would have been so funny if, like, they were straight up just, like, Liela just fail, like, their, um... Whatchamacallit. If they fail, they're, like, uh, second time around doing Love Live. They're like, you know what, fuck Love Live. We're gonna go and do, like, be a band. And they, they just suddenly joined the Bang Dream universe instead as of, like, a five-piece. I think that would have been a f more funnier outcome, honestly. Or even that outcome that, like, after Nizhizhaski finish, fucking, um, <clears throat> you straight up is just like, yeah, you know what, actually, I'm gonna go, like, I'm gonna go to a different school for, like, a bit, you know, just study a bit more music. And, like, she leaves everybody else behind for a bit, and then literally in Superstar, you just see her appear. Like, that'd be so funny if they did that. That was one of my original theories on why they even, like, have both from coming out at, like, similar time. Or, like, one after another. But, I, again, I doubt that. I don't think they're going to actually do that. I wouldn't hold my head up high. It's just, like, the whole fucking theory of me really wanting you to be her own kind of, like, singer or idol in the show as well. Because, like, the voice actor for you in Love Live is actually, like, a singer as well. Like, and she sung, um... She also voice acted and sung in, um... Li uh, I was going to call it Life of Cider. But the song Life of Cider in Wonder Egg, and that's the main reason I even watch Wonder Egg, because, like, <laughs> a lot of the cast is all, like, Love Live members, and I'm like, hold on, this is weird. I need to see how this turns out. Um, but, you know, again, I, I still hold that whole pie, even though, like, the in-game uh, all-star version won't allow that to ever happen. You can never stop believing, though, honestly. I'm actually really worried, though, that in, like, the All-Star game, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, by the way, it's not, like, fucking Leela members that are going to get added. It's going to be, like, fucking Saints No instead. But then again, Saints No wouldn't be that bad, but... It'd be nice to see all the main groups, like, finally in the game by September time. And as well as that, September time is not just the uh, anniversary for uh, Sith All-Stars, but it's also... Near or around the date when, uh, what do we call it, the Superstar anime will stop airing, like, and finally I'll be free from the Love Live chains once again. It's just so weird to think about, like, it, again, if they did that though, if they actually lined up that, like, Superstar would air, and then once it ended, like, all the members would be introduced to fucking Sith All-Stars, like, that's a five-brain strategy move. Like, that, whoever fucking designed that, like, in the long run was like, bro, we got to release this this year so in two years' time we can get this. Or not two years, actually. It's the next year after. Because, like, yeah, no, actually, that's weird to think about. Literally, because 2020 was Ninja Jaski, 2021 was Superstar, and 2022 is both of them at the same time. And at that time, they're like, yeah, okay, if we do line these dates up, we can release them in the game at the end of the anime. Which, again, is really smart if that's what they thought of. I just hope they didn't rush it too much, honestly. That's my main big worry about, like, how fast they're producing the animes now. But to be fair, the anime styles are, like, a lot easier to draw than they were in, like, for example, Sunshine. Like, Sunshine, like, that took quite a bit, I think, for people at the time. Because I think... Oh, no, actually, no. It was, like, 2015, there was the movie for Love Live. Then there was... 
the first sun, sun, yeah, sunshine season in 2016, I think. Then 2017, which I think is around the time I hopped into the Love Live franchise. That's when, like, um, 2017 is when second season came out. So it's only a year afterwards, but still, though. It's kind of, I don't know how I feel, though. It'd be cool to see everybody in the sunshine style, but I guess that's what the game is for. Because in the game, everybody's designed in, like, the sunshine style. Rather than the original style. The original style, well, actually, the sunshine style is a play on the original style, but just a lot, looks a lot more polished, basically. Well, Joe, it is very obvious, because, like, the anime released in, what, like, 2013, 2014? And then finished in 2015, like? Oh my god, just finish. Thank you. The other enemy fangirling over that. Um, I've actually started watching Death Note recently. It's actually really good, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually surprised it took me this long to start watching Death Note, honestly. Like, I can't wait to see what happens now in... What am I on? Episode 5? 4? I can't remember, because, like... There are times where I'm like, ah, oh, you know what, before, like, I get lunch, I'm gonna watch an episode in the hopes that, like... By the time I'm watching that episode, I'll get the sandwich part way through, and then I can just pause the episode, make the sandwich, and then just watch one episode. But then it turns out to be like, eh, you know what, I finished that episode, but I can watch another whilst I wait again. <laughs> and it just goes from there, like. I mean, at this point, you can kind of do that, right? Come on, Joe. Oh, there's graffiti underneath this as well. There we go. If anything, I'm just being lazy now. <laughs> now I see the use for this. And you just want to be lazy. Or more precise, actually, is another, qu or another way to put it, honestly. Because I could do this from here. I could do that. Just go up and down it slowly. Yeah, a good example of, like... Actually, what is a good example hmm. of, like, animation now? I'd say definitely, like, between Spy Family and, uh... Bleeding Love is War. Maybe. Wait, Joe, what's that other one you watch? Oh, yeah, Kami. I don't know how I feel about this Kami season, I'm not gonna lie. It feels off for some reason. I think it's just because the intro doesn't start with like Hi Juna Nemokobi Dachi wa Imoke Kemikimo Senkai Like because it doesn't have that like pump up intro that I'm not as like jazzed up for the season. Like if I don't like the intro to an anime it can hinder my likeness for it. Except Death Note. Death Note is different. Like I don't like the intro. I don't like the way it's sang. But I still, like, I, that doesn't mean I'm not going to watch it. Like, I've already watched, like, four odd episodes by now. Maybe three. And, like, I want to continue it, like, you know? Like, basically, once I pass the three episode mark, I'm guaranteed to basically watch the anime. Like, even if the rest of it is horrible, or turns out horrible. <coughs> One Drake, sorry. Um, but, yeah. No, I, no, One Drake was actually good. It's just, like, it was really confusing at the end. That's all, really. But, uh, yeah. Wow, Joe, a nice, nice silent, isn't it? Yeah, oh, that, that's a nice little bit of dirt you got there. Oh, I didn't actually complete that. I didn't even realize it. At least I'm going around this multiple times to get it done. But, you know, honestly, right now, I kind of only feel like doing... Wait a minute, did I? Oh, yeah, it finished itself. That's why it's not there. Oh, but I'm going to have to go over the graffiti. Yeah, that's not going to be done, Joe. Not yet. Not until you go around it. There we go. Nice and slowly. Okay, wait. I don't need to go too slow. It's only on the graffiti I really need to go slow. I say that as I fucking rush past it, like. Right. It's like a razor, like, getting rid of hair. Which still reminds me, I still need to get a haircut. 
I might just get my dad to cut my hair, honestly. I'm not really too jazzed about hairstyles right now. All I ever ask for is like an inch off my current scalp and... Well, not an inch, an inch left on my scalp, there we go. And I go from there. By the time I go on the holiday anyway, I'll probably all have grown back. That's the main reason I'm not really bothered, like shaving or cutting my hair. But at the same time, like maybe it's best for me since like... It is summer, it's probably better for me to get my hair cut more often. Why do I have to realize that, bro? Now my head's actually like, whoa, Joe, do you have a headache, bro? Nah. No way. Return of the headache from yesterday? Absolutely not. Okay, if I... Uh, what I was going to say, blow. If I wipe this down, power wash it down, never mind, it's not done. That should finish. Why isn't it finishing? There it is. Right? No? I think after a while they just like give it to you if you don't like get it done properly. Come on. I see it up there. Never mind. Okay, I guess it'll just never finish. We'll come back to it at the end. I know that's annoying to just leave it till the end, but like... I don't know, I want to feel like I'm actually making progress, because right now we're only on 10% and we've been streaming for half an hour already. I seriously don't know. Oh, there we go. Oh, I get it. It's this part. I should never tell me that you won't. In an alternative universe, there would be a Nerd Joe's mixtape with uh, the Kami-san intro in it. It's a pity we will never get to that universe. I mean, I could always, like... I could always make the videos, but then I'd just upload it to the archives and it'll just be buried forever. Because <laughs> that channel's basically just a wasteland of just content that can't thrive on its own. Or can't vo uh, thrive with the channel anymore. Thrive, there we go. So yeah, any time now I get, like, a copyright claim on anything, because, like, I've... Actually, I, I didn't even mention that, but, like, recently I've actually completely wiped all the copyright claims off of all the channels, and I mean all the channels, like, on uh, Joe's Night Flyer, The Night Flyer, and The Flyer's Clips. Like, none of them have them. I've had to delete videos that were nearing the thousands of views, but honestly, I think it was worth it. I think it was better for the channels. It puts my mind at ease as well that there's no claims on them and no company can suddenly go, you know what, we don't like you fucking butchering your cover on our song. Uh, copyright uh, strike this guy. Because I feel like that will happen. So, what better way to avoid it than to just get rid of all the copyright material and just throw it onto another channel. As much as the archives is there, if the archives did just suddenly go down, then that's it. Like, I can't really do anything else about it. Like, all my content, even content that's not, like, public anymore, is just all on that channel. So if it ever just, like, gets deleted, then I guess I'm just never gonna bother with it, you know? But then, that's an issue, right? Because, like, if I get a account terminated on YouTube, that would mean that I wouldn't be able to post YouTube stuff anymore. But let's be fair, I'll just give ownership, wink wink, to another person so that they could say that, like, they own the channel instead. No, I'm not saying wink wink because it's a cop-out. I'm just saying. How good is this? Eh, it's not... Okay, wait, actually, eh, you know, it's kind of shit. <laughs> I'll be real, it's actually kind of shit. I should just move closer if I want to get it done better. Come on, that corner. Oh yeah, and I don't think I even mentioned it yesterday on stream, but they actually, like, um, Sony are mad. They're, they actually finally are like, right, Spider-Man PS4 is going to be on PC remastered. And I was like, wait, remastered? And I actually looked up, like, when it was released. I'm like, oh yeah, it was released, like, 2018. Damn, that's kind of mad when you think about it. I'm kind of glad, though, because it's like, uh, Sony are finally seeing how, like, uh, whatchamacallit, what what should we call it bleeding so uh, microsoft they see how microsoft are releasing like 
uh, even like just Halo Infinite on PC as well as Xbox, and like it's actually worked like to a certain degree, even though Halo Infinite's kind of like a dumpster fire as far as I've heard of from it last. But I mean, it's still a good sentiment though that they released the multiplayer for free and that they kind of like they were basically like, you know what? Here you go. Uh, on PC as well, day one Game Pass. That's all Sony are missing is to get their like Game Pass subscription thing onto PC. Because once they do that, then they finally can have proper competition with Xbox in the PC space. Because Microsoft have basically been dominating the PC... Well, actually Steam has, theoretically, but... Microsoft are kind of there as well, because they have like their uh, first party titles on the uh, thing. Or, well, <laughs> whatever first party titles they might actually have, because honestly all I know is really Halo and that's it, look. Which is kind of bad on their part, I should know a lot more. I guess... No, I don't think Ratchet and Clank is. That's like PS4, isn't it? I can't remember. But yeah. That is the situation. So, by the time it reaches August, and if I'm still streaming... Um, if I buy it, I'll probably stream it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I'm probably going to stream a lot of it. That's, a, that's also depending if I like it. If they have a demo, I might actually try out the demo just to make sure I actually like it. Because when I play it at my mate's house, I did kind of like it, but there's a part of me thinking, like, did I actually like it, though, or am I imagining I liked it because of the Spider-Man? Because there's a difference between liking it for the theme of the game and liking it for, like, how it plays and shit, you know? Like, I enjoyed Demon Slayer yesterday because it got my brain racking and I just thought it was gas, like. I'm not really playing Ori right now because, like, it's not really too... I don't know, provoking for me to play right now. So if 19th of June hits and I haven't finished yet, I do apologize. It'll probably just be one of those games that I start and then just never finish. But at least there's stream proof that I did start it, so if I ever need to come back to it, I can. And hey, you never know, maybe like in the future if I do like a charity marathon stream, I'll like bring all the games together that I've never finished and I'll put them all into one stream. So we can do like getting over it, we can do uh... Wait, did I? Yeah, I didn't do him yet. Uh, I'll, I'll wait before getting the front of this guy. I'm not really arsed, pop, like, literally dropping down just to get him. But yeah, no, we can do all, like, the unfinished games. Even if Power Wash counts as well, we'll throw that in. Uh, FNAF Help Wanted, I still need to finish that, like, uh, baby plush mini game. Getting over, I've already said. Obviously, there'd be the uh, Ori in the Blind Forest if I don't finish it. And probably a few others as well that I'm just not thinking of. I do know as well that I definitely want to see if I can stream uh, the FNAF Help or not Help Wanted uh, Security Breach DLC. Because in uh, Security Breach Land World uh, Thing, what were their names? Steel Wool Studios. They recently announced that there's actually going to be like a new um, DLC for the game, and it's for free as well. I don't know how, why they're doing it for free, but they are doing it for free. I mean, maybe if the game, reception of the game wasn't that bad, they actually would have a reason to charge for it. But I think, like, making it free is a good idea so that more people come back to the game, try it, and be like, Wow, actually, this game's a lot more polished than I rem uh, remember it being. Or at least that's my hope for that game, anyway. Because I'll return to it anyway, no matter what. I just need to wait till sometime next year to return to it. I don't really have much reason to play it now. Because I've done, like, I think all the endings. And if I haven't even got an ending, it's probably because it's just, like, a comic book cutscene anyway. So it's not really much I'm missing. And I think I've seen most of the endings anyway. But yeah, no, it's, it's cool to see that. Because, like, literally, once it was announced, I was like, right, now I can finally delete this off my computer. I know it's going to be a long time before, like, I even need to download it. So, yeah. There's also a Hogwarts game that I'm kind of eyeing, but I'm kind of half and half if I'm actually going to play it and if I'm not. Again, it kind of depends. If there's a demo, I might play it first through a demo and then go from there. Oh, you know what? Actually, a game I should really try again, and I just quit because it kept crashing on me for some reason. Outriders. I just need to play a little bit of Outriders, but then again, I'm kind of scared it'll just end up exactly like uh, Anthem did, where it's like, I play it, I like it, but then I don't want to go back to it because I already have Destiny in my life. Even though when it comes to Destiny, I kind of only play it like... I don't know, right now I'm kind of in the weekly playing mood. I'm not really in the mood to just grind it out. 
you know? Unless I got, like, <laughs> unless I got a girlfriend to play with me, then that'll be an excuse. But we all know that ain't happening, Chief. Come on, let's wash your back. Oh, man, my throat is going dry because I'm doing a lot more talking than I was yesterday. Just because, like, well, there's nothing for me to stay silent to in this game unless you want to just, you know, listen to nothingness. Oh, man, that's nice. Right, let's continue. Um, but yeah. Other than that, I'm not going to say too much about the concept, other than that I hope to get it done within the week. Because I think it said six days, so, yeah. But then again, the last one said six days as well. <laughs> but it was delivered to me, like, in, I think, two days or the next day. So, <laughs> it's just like... Okay, that was actually kind of fast. Thank you. And a good drawing as well. But, um... Yeah. Man. Part of me kind of wish I just had, like, a friend that was an artist so I could just... <laughs> so I could just undercut them like the scumbag I am. I'll only pay a fiver. But yeah, this one's going to be different as well because we're getting... I think it's full body this time because, like, in the package it said full body. Rather than a, a half body one, but if it's half body anyway, it doesn't matter. Like I, I, I don't mind either or. I still got a kind of offer on it anyway. And it was kind of weird as well. I actually wasn't even gonna do another concept for a while, but the artist like actually reached back out to me and they were like, "Yo, uh, yeah, my gig's back up by the way. Sorry for not being able to take your order at the time." I was like, "You know what?" Like literally that night, I was like, "You know what? Actually, I'll take you up on that. Let Let's try this again." But obviously, like, I already had Claire done, so I just, uh, it's a different one, yeah. And they did say they'd be back in June, and obviously it's June now, so. And I think they had a few orders in queue, actually, so they might be, mightn't be done for a while. I don't know. Even if they are late on delivery, I I'm not really that kind of guy that's going to be too worried about it. Like, if I really was worried about getting a drawing done for a certain, like, deadline... Then I would have, like, ordered it, like, ages ago. Just to make sure to give the artists, like, as much time as they need, you know? I don't know how it's going to turn out, though. Because I did kind of cobble together pieces for the drawing. But I kind of have an idea of, like, what they might look like. I don't know. We'll have to see. Because I'm actually really, like... I was really surprised with Claire's and stuff. I think I'm just trying to not get my hopes too high up. That they'll, able, they'll just be able to, like, one for one recreate what I imagined it to be. Oh my god, of course it's... Oh, it's the ladder. Oh, the ladder. Oh, excuse me. That's so annoying. There isn't scaffolding around here, is there? Nope, there's no scaffolding. How lovely. Oh, wait, I can... <gasps> Oh, I, could, I thought they got rid of all this physics. I thought you couldn't do that anymore. Wait, I need to try this. Wah. Hey guys, welcome back to my CSGO surfing video. Today we'll be discussing on why I hate puppies. Yes, I absolutely despise puppies. Puppies can uh, bleep and bleep because they are bleep. I had to bleep all that because that was all commentary community stuff that you can't say nowadays. I'm not going to lie, actually, I've kind of fallen out of... I think YouTube content in general, actually. It's because of fucking TikTok. TikTok's fucking rotting my brain, like... Oh, I'm so annoyed at this, though. How am I meant to clean them properly, then? I mean, Joe, you could always just hop on top of their heads and go from there, like, I guess. You know, like, this, maybe? Okay, move a bit... There you go. Wouldn't let me move back there for a second. That was weird. The only time I'll really accept this. Yeah, I can't see. What, I can't wait to see what happens uh, this week in Spy Family. Because like last time, it was just like. The brother got drunk and he was like, lol, um, I don't I don't trust that you guys are telling the truth, alright? You're gonna have to kiss. 
and then obviously thing. But I bet what's gonna happen, he's just gonna be like called by the thingy, and they, they're gonna be like, "Yo, yours brother, we're gonna need, we need you like ASAP. We need you to interrogate these guys. You're the only guy that can do it." He's like, "Ah, oh, fine, right? I'll prove this next time with you two. And then he just storms out fast, like as he needs to rush. Oh, that's so much effort I have to put in just to clean the fucking gnome, man. Dun dun dun, the symphony. Dun 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 dun. To be fair though, like TikTok has banger songs as well. That's like the advantage of TikTok as well. The only reason it's so popular is because like, not only because of short form content, but it can post like you can post content with copywritten material in it if you wanted to, as long as it's allowed on TikTok. Like I know before I made like a, what you call it, I made a like a TikTok with sound before, but I think it said it was either removed from the creator or from removed from TikTok themselves. But it was the uh, We The Sus Music, like Dream uh, uh, Sus uh, cover. And I was actually so annoyed, I was like, oh, well, okay, fine then. I, I won't just, like, I won't just take this person's copywritten material and use it for my own. To be fair, though, I didn't really add anything to it, so it's probably better that it was just deleted. Should save the video though and just put something else over it, something more like. Actually, I say that though, but there's even more like, uh, sus for say, um, remixes on TikTok nowadays. Like, so it's kind of weird to see that that was like removed, but like the other one wasn't. Maybe it comes down to how clear you sing it as well. Oh my god, one more seriously. Ah, oh. come on, get up, get on, get on his head. There we go, that's it. Clean him down, like the little filthy gnome he is. Oh, come on, man. There we go. It was only a tiny bit as well, which is so annoying to think about. Oh, we're only 17% done. I'm going to be here for, like, hours, man. Oh, I wish I downloaded the fucking... Uh, power Wash, like, music or something. The one that Markiplier always plays in the background. I think it it's meant to actually weigh. Options. Audio. No. There's no music. Oh, there's music here, but it's not even working anyway. Oh, well. Guess we won't listen to music. Maybe when I get... Oh, okay, I can see that, yeah. Wait, can I... No, I can't get that from here. I'm too lazy to move from my spot. I must power wash from this direct place. Wait, did that say 12, like, not too long ago? Now it says 18, or am I tripping? Maybe I'm just tripping. Yeah, Joe, just, just just leave on this. Make sure to be thorough, though. Oh, my God. It's so satisfying hearing all of them go off now. Oh, but th this is what I live for. This is why I play Power Wash. Just for that satisfying ding sound, man. There we go. But now that I think about it, it's the fort today. Man, four more days until the leaving cert for some people. Mad shit. I only keep mentioning it because, like, my friends right now are probably studying their, like, arses off right now. I don't even think I've seen them online recently, so, like, they're doing a lot better than I did during my, like, uh, study time. But to be fair, I organized it out where it's like, okay, I'm going to study this one subject today, 
this subject the next day and so on and so forth. So usually I'd be like there for like a good like um, hour or two depending on the subject. The Leaving Cert was the first time I really took st studying like very seriously I think. Like sure I've studied before but like not to the extent I did during the Leaving. And then college I straight up just took it to the next level like. Because at that point I was like okay Joe this is serious shit now. You need to be able to actually pass these or like a lot of money is going to go down the drain like. I say that but for me like um. I'm lucky because like, like I got my college paid for me basically, and he's, even as of right now, I don't have any outstanding fees with college. So essentially, I went for free. I just pay. Actually, no, I did pay over three hundred quid though, which was for what was it for again? It was it was for some fee that everybody just called bullshit and just called like basically we're calling out the college for like just basically stealing a few hundred quid off like students per, like per year. Because it's just, it's especially scummy when you think about like how like some people could barely even get by for the like for example my course was like three thousand quid right like not everybody can get three thousand quid not even I can get three thousand quid off the bat like I don't know where you'd even get that obviously you can loan but like I'd hate to be able to loan stuff and like because of where like I'm situated as well like I also got like um, money for it too. That's why, like, during that time, I could buy a lot of stuff. That's why I even bought the fucking microphone that we're using right now. I think, like, the Blue Yeti was, like, probably one of the first many, first of many, like, purchases I made just for YouTube. And now I'm just using it for streaming, basically. I would say the camera I'm using for Jonesy's uh, model tracking is also one like that, but it's not really. I kind of just didn't bother with the webcam because I already had my phone. And my phone's just been updating over time, so it is how it is. Oh well, yeah, and another thing as well, like, obviously my computer, like, that's another thing I bought because I went to college as well. Like, I got the money from college and saved up so I can actually get this, like, computer. You know? It's mad shit, like, honestly. What if it's actually not my internet? What if, it, what if it's just computer? It just can't handle running Power Wash and this at the same time. Because I don't think I actually remember a Power Wash stream that was completely green. Like in the, uh, what you would call it, in the, in the, in the, in the OBS. I don't know where I'm going with it. Wait, how about I just, how about I just move close and do this a bit more closely. There we go, just make sure to get all that. Fuck, that actually genuinely scared me. I wasn't actually expecting it to finish. Oh, okay, can I go up in here instead? There you go. Let's get this little yoke done. Oh, man. 20%, let's go. It only took me 53 minutes to get 20% of this done. We are going to be here for a long time. And I'm scared because I don't know what else to talk about except just commentate on various aspects of my life and what's happening in game. And obviously every so often taking a break so I can drink some water. But see, this is the thing as well, right? Usually I would stop like if I knew I was getting near to the end of my stream time. But as you can see, it's half one. I used to stop around half twelve, so uh, we, d we, don't, we don't use lunch as a measure of time anymore during these streams. I have lunch before stream, so it doesn't interrupt the stream, but I'm going to have to interrupt the stream soon so I can actually go get some more water, which to be fair is an actual reason, like <laughs> a genuine good reason like to actually leave for a second. And another reason I could just make up now is that like my head is actually kind of like, it's not aching heavily, but like I think I'm starting to feel an ache come back to it, which is a shame. I thought I was done with that shit yesterday. But yeah, no, this is why especially I'm definitely just going to do this one today. But I'm not going to lie. I don't know if I'm going to come back to this or not. I think I'm, like, I think I've already tapped out of Power Wash after this one. Unless, like, I stream with, like, Brandon or something, like, then I might do it, like. I was thinking of streaming again with him because we were playing, like, Apex and Ghost Hunter, but nah. It just wasn't that kind of time. Hopefully he's feeling a bit better today. He was feeling a bit down. 
Oh yeah, and as you can see, like, with the streams, I'm not doing the two streams a day thing. I don't think I will for a while, until the streams reach, like, um, like, Ju basically the end of July. When they reach the end of July, that's when I'll start letting streams, like, double upload again. But I don't think you'll even get to that point. Unless I start doing two streams a day again, but I don't know. I might stream again today, it just depends. It is Saturday, and there's not much else I'm doing, so I don't even know if I'm going to stream again. And even if I stream again, it doesn't guarantee that I'll have a double upload for the uh, Joe's Night Flyer channel. Because I could also just, like, do a Destiny stream and just leave it there. Again, I just, I don't know why, I just, like, I know I need to get Pinnacle now, so that it's not a bother at the end of the season, but I just can't be arsed, honestly. I can't be arsed grinding the game again and again and again to get the Pinnacle. Until we reach, like, the Witch Queen stage again, or, like, the next DLC, that's when I'll bother. But even then, at that point, like, I think Bungie at this point are trying to hint to us that they're going to get rid of, like, the power cap anyway. So, like, I think that's another reason why I'm just secretly just like, okay, let's hold out and see if Bungie actually, like, get rid of power next time round, you know? And even if they don't next time, they make the time after that. But yeah, no, honestly, if they just got rid of, like, the power requirement within Destiny, the game would be so much different in a good way. Like, imagine being able to play whatever you want without needing to grind light, man. Imagine, that's mad. Yeah, actually, I'll get more water now whilst I have the chance. Give me a sec. Now do I think about it, and now that I'm going to eat, I should sure really look into getting donations set up. I know I said all that shit about uh, cash back and stuff before, but I don't know. Maybe I might be able to set something up for it. Oh, man. Last one as well. I usually don't eat this at this time, so it tastes a bit different, like. Which is weird to say. Again, this is so fucking handy. Holy shit. It's just like, I can eat with one hand and power wash with the other. Legit, man. No, this is this is gameplay. This is fucking gameplay. Efficient gameplay at that. I can't get that bit underneath. Eh. Okay, wait. Put it down for a minute. Don't get the flour in your nose. And yes, there's flour on this mochi as well. It's probably to stop your finger sticking to them, honestly, which is smart. But man, five euro for these? Like, I will admit, they're nice, but they're not worth five euro. But... That doesn't mean I'm not going to buy the next flavour. So I know there's, like, another flavour of these, and I'm probably going to get it, like... Like, if anything, after this stream, I need to go out for a walk. That's my reason now for going out for a walk, just to buy more of these. Because this is the last one I'm eating. But yeah. And plus, there's a nice day outside. I'm trying to walk more again. Because ever since I started streaming, like, my... The amount of times I've gone out for a walk has just reduced. And since my birthday passed and I got a bit of money I can spend physically, I want to kind of use it. You know? Right. Oh yeah, we hit the $9,000 mark, lol. Um, what were we doing? Okay, I'm guessing we're moving- Oh, that feels weird. Oh, that makes- That makes my ear cringe. Like, not like, you know, that's cringy. But like, the original meaning for cringy. We feel unpleasant. From various things. I think it's something like that. You know, too cringe. Not like- to lol that's cringe kind of moment you know oh my god I, I've never been doing this have I ah whatever 
Once we're at the end, we'll we'll figure it out. Like, yeah, okay, Joe, you can just get that done. There's like dirt stuck in between the fucking fountain yoke. Oh wait, it's on here, isn't it? Yeah, never mind, it's on here. That's why. Okay, we'll we'll do that afterwards. We're trying to stay up here for now. Do one section at a time, Joe. I say that as I'm trying to do another section when I shouldn't bother. But, you know, honestly, right now, like, I feel like... Like, even just, like, um... Just the introduction of L in Death Note is like, oh, wow, okay. Like, people were saying he's smart, but, like, I didn't think he was this fucking smart. I thought they were just like, oh, lo man, he has such a high Q, you need a high IQ as well to understand him, you know, that kind of shit. Like, the Rick and Morty joke. But, um... Yeah, no, it's pretty, it's pretty spot on actually to like why like he thinks this, that, and the other right now. Weird to think though that there's thirty six episodes of this. In Death Note. I feel like uh, Light is going to be on the run eventually. Cause there's no way, like they don't track him down to his house and then he runs away from home or some shit with the Death Note and tries to like, well, kill like whoever like oh but that's the thing as well okay this could be a bit death note spoilers so if you don't want death note spoilers just like temporarily mute but like fucking light just recently agreed yeah you know what for half my life i i want i want these kind of eyes you're talking about the uh she can know me eyes or something like that you know basically the guy that's like invisible to everybody else but light like he wants his eyes those kind of eyes that tell you like how long a person's gonna live for um, and what their name is as well kind of cool actually it does make a lot of sense on how like he knows about light and stuff his name and so on and so forth and if anything he probably just wants to have fun that's why he's like you know what if you offer half of your probably long life then go for we'll go from there even though I think actually it did tell you how long he was gonna live for <laughs> It'd be so funny if it's like, oh yeah, by the way, you're gonna live for like, or not him saying it, but like, his eyes joke, or just like, oh yeah, by the way, this kid's gonna live for like another like fucking, wait, have I? Yeah, I've been doing up there as well. This kid's gonna live for like another like, day, would you want to take half a day away from him? And he's like, yeah, sure, why not? Be gas just to fucking trample the fun here, like. But yeah. I don't know, it's gonna be good anyway. I'm not getting... I'm not going to lie, though. With some shows I've been watching recently, like, I have been enjoying them, but I haven't been, like, immersed in them, per se. Like, the last anime I really wanted to binge so badly that I actually took the time to binge it was the office lady, uh, lolly-looking character anime. Like, that was the last time. I think it was just because it was wholesome and stuff. I just had to watch it all, like... And I'm glad I did watch it all, and yeah. Maybe I should look to see if there's another season of that, so after Death Note we can get out of this dreary fucking uh, morbid life view kind of point of view on shit. Because that's what, like, that's what kind of happens sometimes when I watch anime. Like, I can bounce to fucking something as simple as Love Live, go to something as complex as fucking Evangelion... Probably Wonder Egg if you want to throw that in and Death Note. Something as gruesome and dark as fucking Tokyo Ghoul and Attack on Titan. And then all the way back to fucking a slice of life on a fucking, like, someone senpai that wants to be a wizard, like. My range is mad. Like, and like, I used to not really be too into, like, older kind of shows just because the way they looked. But I don't really judge that anymore, honestly. It's probably one of the main reasons I'm even watching Death Note is literally because it's just like, like I don't want to judge it on its art style. I'm glad I didn't, you know. Because I've done that too many times before, and it's weird to say that as well because the first anime I've technically watched was like in an old art style. I think it was from like 1990 something or 2000s. I think that it, like when I stopped um, caring about art style was when I first watched like the Idol Master. Because to me, I consider that old looking. And I think it's because I watched, like, the pilot episode first. And it was, like, 
bro, this looks old as shit, but I'm still gonna give it a chance. And then the next episode is like in, I'm like, oh wait, it's nothing like the pilot. It actually looks decent. <laughs> but still old, but still looks decent. I see, I kind of like, I grew up on like the newer kind of, I say newer, but on the 2010s kind of animes, I guess you could say. With like Tokyo Ghoul and, uh, uh, uh Tokyo Ghoul. <laughs> I actually, I don't, th yeah, I really don't think, because it was Rosie Alex Vampire, there was Tokyo Ghoul, that I think I was just got depressed and I didn't want to watch more depressing shit. But I don't think Love Live was next after that. I, I, I really doubt it was fucking Love Live Sunshine that was next after that. Because this is when I was younger. There's Maybe I gave anime a rest actually then for a few years. And I got back in. Because I literally saw the fucking on Google Plus somebody posting the Nico Nico Ni meme. And obviously I liked it because I'm a weeb. And I'm like, okay, I, you know what? Let's watch where this came from then. And I fucking watch Sunshine first instead of, like, Love Live. I'm like, okay, wait, wait. Maybe, Joe, because we finished season one of Sunshine, we should go back to uh, the original series whilst the, uh... Go back to the original series whilst um, Sunshine is still airing. Because at that time, it was 2017 for sure. I think, anyway. I'm, I'm nearly confident saying it was 2017. And, like, it was still airing and shit. Um, so I just went back to watch the original show for seasons and... Movie, cried like a bitch. Rewatched season one, I think, of Sunshine. Or maybe I just went straight into season two. And then I went from there, watched that, and I thought, oh man, that's mad. It's all finally over. It's all finally done. And then, let's just say it was 2018, when I found out that in 2019, they would be making a movie. And I was like, oh my god. For the first time in ages, I'm actually going to watch... Or not first time in ages, but first time ever, I'm going to watch something from Love Live that's actually new and like coming out. At the same time as everyone else. And that was the point I really fixated on. I really love that kind of like... That like, I'm a fan of this and I'm going to be watching this for the first time as it comes out. Rather than watching it when it's already out. Because I didn't even see Sunshine when like those episodes were coming out. I saw them like afterwards when it was all like finished I think. Because I might have given it like a little... Either a little break or I just literally watched an episode a day of... Uh, the original series. Because I was weird like that. Like, well, I, uh, technically I do it now, but I have a reason for it because I kind of work a lot, you know? But, like, back then, I just, for whatever reason, I just, like, you know what? We only watch one episode a day. And then there probably might have been a few exclusions, but nowadays it's definitely, there's exclusions. Like, because obviously sometimes, as I already mentioned at the start of the stream, that I'll watch, like, one episode of Death Note. But I, if I don't get lunch by then, then I'll just watch another anyway because, you know, why not at that point? I might as well. There's no point to hold back watching an episode if it's, like, enjoyable to watch, you know? But yeah, I'm assuming, like, I, I shouldn't really be guessing what the end is for the anime already. But I'm guessing at the end, maybe, like, Light gets caught or some shit, and then, like, that that's it, it's just game over. Maybe L dies beforehand and somebody else steps in. I don't know. All I've ever seen is, like, the meme of, like, obviously him writing into the death note and writing a shit ton of names with the music in the back. And I've also seen the meme where L just, like, looks him directly in the face. So, obviously, eventually, like, he does find them. Which is such a shame that I know that. Like, <laughs> imagine if I just didn't know that. Like, maybe it would have been more exciting, but... Yeah, I don't know. Because, like, to a certain degree, certain things aren't really spoilers if you don't have the context to them. So, like, when people said, um... Like, for example, Fortnite is in uh, Avengers Endgame. Like, you legitimately think, ah, oh, yeah, they're just memeing. There's no way fucking Fortnite is in Endgame. And I fucking kid you not, in the cinema, I looked at this game they were playing and I was like, no way, wait, is this the part people were actually talking about? It's probably going to be some other game, right? Right? Maybe, like, Crystal Dynamics, like, Avengers game, maybe, instead? And it's like, nope. Fortnite Battle Royale. Oh, jeez, that scared me. Thanks, Rolo, for uh, following. But, like, it was such a bro moment. Like, I literally was just, like, in the... I was, I was so flabbergasted. I was like, no fucking way. They included Fortnite in Avengers, and now it's forever immortalized in Avengers Endgame. So even if all the Fortnite servers were deleted and the game could never be recovered ever again, Fortnite will still exist in the form of a movie. The highest form, the next highest form it could exist in, honestly. 
And obviously all the clickbait YouTuber videos and all that shit as well. But yeah, like, yeah, so I go going back to the point on spoilers, like, so, like, when I seen that scene of, um, what do we call it, like, L looking at, like, light very intensely, and, it, you know, the caption be something as, like, cringy as, when you make a stinky poo-poo beside your friend, and your friend sniffs it, and, you know, he just looks at him, yeah. Like, this is kind of, like, a thing, it's like, okay, now I've seen the scene, but now I want to see where it comes from. Because it does come back to that point of, um... Well, I was talking about with fucking Love Live and the Nico Nico Nee. It's just like, I want to see what even, like, triggered this event in the first place. Why did she do this? Like, does she actually mean it? So many questions going through my head. Very profound questions. Oh my god, is this ever going to be done? Please finish. Thank you. Okay. Oh, but I still have up here. Of course I do. And we're only on 26. Jesus, man. Ah. Oh, well, I guess I still have a long time to be talking. But it is how it is. We'll just go from here, you know? Oh, I'm slipping. Why am I... I'm meant to be standing here. There you go. But then again, I think I was edging myself towards the edge so I could do thing. Come on, you got this. There we go. Come on, Joe. Stand on it. St stand. Star Platinum. The world, though. Actually, yeah, now that the now that I've said that, it reminded me of fucking JoJo Part Six. When the fuck is that coming out? Like, when is Part Two of Part Six of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure coming out? Like, <laughs> it's just like I swear. At one point, I heard people saying that Netflix are basically just holding it hostage for the like time being, or it's just not like made yet. Like, which would be kind of weird because I think people were saying it's meant to be a short show anyway. So like, there's probably not much left to it. I hope it's not like the situation with um, with that one anime where it's like, or one show where it's like, okay, oh yeah, no, I think this was The Walking Dead where like, they aired the whole season but they delayed the last episode for like a few months later. Because like, if they did something like that with JoJo's, it's like, bro, like, nobody's gonna give a shit at that point. Like, they're just gonna read the manga then, like, if you're just gonna be stingy about it, Netflix, like. To be fair, though, Netflix were, like, champions in that moment, like, when they released it. Because they are like, you know what? We did say we want to release once a month. Everybody hates us for that. So instead, we're just going to release the whole show just <laughs> on the same day. And, like, when I was watching it initially on a, um, let's just say off-brand website, like, I just, like, when I finished one, I reloaded the page because I usually do that, like, for some reason. And, like... I just saw, like, episode 2, 3, 4. I'm like, wait a minute, wait, what? Are these actually out? And then I watched 2, and I was like, oh, wait. Oh, this is actually available now, isn't it? So I, like, literally bought the Netflix subscription, and I, like, actually watched it on Netflix, like. Safe to say that that was the best, like, uh, 10 quid I spent in my life. Because, like, obviously, not only was it, like, for just uh, JoJo's, but I also watched, like, Hoshikami-san, Takagi-san... I feel like I've watched a few other things. I just can't remember. I don't think Arcane was out at that time, so I didn't watch that. But yeah, I know at one point, especially if Netflix do get, um... What do call it? If they do release JoJo's Part 6 anytime soon, then I'm going to purchase a subscription again. Because I do it every so often, you know? Because you can't always, like... Like, for the safest way to say it, you can't always like, get the content you're looking for in the country you're in for certain shows and shit. And you, like, for me especially, I just want to be able to pay them back in a way. Even though, even if they are companies and they don't really give a shit about me and <laughs> they're just like, oh, we don't care, we just want your soul, bro. We want your data, we want your fingerprint. Honestly, there probably is a perfect copy of me and the algorithms on the internet. And am I scared of it? Kinda. But you know what? As long as it serves me the correct shit, I don't mind. As long as my fucking personal information isn't docs the world, I'm grand. Even though I feel like it will be eventually. <laughs> it's just a matter of time. Because all it takes is for one company to fuck up and everybody's information is spilled all over the place. That's why I still kind of like how on the internet you can have like anonymity. Where like you can pick your username. Because I'm pretty sure like in um... I think it actually was meant to be like a rule of the internet or some shit when it was first like getting big. Where it's like 
oh, you must use your actual name and picture and all that. But, like, obviously nobody gave a shit about that. Everybody just wants to be called Stinky McBumnuts, like, 245. You know, nobody gives a shit. And, like, even my profile picture is of Claire, like... I use that, well, yeah, on Twitch it's Claire, and then in Steam it's, like, Sherry. It's like, you know, I'm using them to as a way to, I guess, promote my, like, light novel series, you know? And, like, what about the companies who have things? Uh, actually, to be fair, Joe, companies will just have to name themselves after the product of shilling. Or name themselves after themselves, it depends. You know, if I made, like, a Sherry Arbor uh, story account on Twitter, obviously I'd name it Sherry Arbor Story and show, well, obviously Sherry Arbor herself. Okay, let's see. Can I get those from here? I don't think I can. Yeah, no, I can't. Ugh. Maybe once I'm done the majority of this, like, a big, like, percentage boost will, like, just just happen, you know? I'm just really hoping it does, honestly, because if it doesn't happen, I'm actually going to be so annoyed, like. Because how long have I been going? Uh, an hour and 16, actually. It's not that bad. I have to remember, it's around, like, 40% when it might be the two-hour mark, or beyond the two-hour mark. Oh, yeah, for some reason, like... Yeah, actually, no, I won't mention that. Never mind. About, this brings me back to my point about doxing and stuff. If, if a company doesn't dox me first or a person, then it's going to be myself. Almost guarantee it, like. There we go. Oh, man. Maybe one day I'll be rich enough to buy the license to play Love Live Music on stream. <laughs> That'd be so gas. I just buy, like, a lot of rights just to play anime music on stream. Just for the background music, and that's it. Imagine how banging that would be. I actually get to listen to something other than fucking Power Washer. <laughs> Do its thing for the whole thing. Which, theoretically, I could, but, like... Again, today, the internet's being a bit jitty uh, coming through OBS, so I don't think I'll bother. I think maybe after today, like, once I, tr like, see how the internet is tomorrow, I might try and up the, like, quality again. Because, again, I think it's only these odd times the internet will just be weird with, like, when I'm streaming. Maybe it's just because I haven't streamed so early in a while. Because I swear I usually leave it to, like, what is it now? Yeah, it's literally 2. So, like, I leave it to around 2 now to stream. It's just not used to me streaming so early anymore. I wonder if, like, my vo uh, bleeding. I was gonna say Vodafone phone. I don't even have a Vodafone phone. The um, bleeding. Uh, broadband provider, Jesus Christ. If the broadband provider was. Um, or are tinkering, like, in the background, trying to save up on resources or some shit. And that's why the internet's being a bit weird right now. But then again, I think I streamed for a long time that one time and it still didn't fix itself. Oh, man, this actually annoys my fucking head to bits just looking at all that dirt in its places and how I have to stand up here just to be able to do thing, man. Ugh, let me just open that. I wonder if this is like a custom-made power washer as well. I think it is, isn't it? I don't think I've seen that in the game before. Right. It's kind of weird though, like when you think about it, like you purchase skins in this game, but it doesn't even matter because like, well, obviously for the main story it matters, but like for the uh, thing, it... okay, fine, I'll back up a bit. There we go. Because like in the community ones, it's like, nope, you're not going to have your own skin. You're just going to have this one. Again, I don't know if I like that, but I, I, I don't know. It's kind of cool, again, still, I must reiterate, how nice, like, um, the Power Wash devs must be to allow, like, community-made levels in their own game. Like, theoretically, they could just, like, never develop a new map and actually concentrate on finishing the game whilst just being like, oh, you made a cool map for a game? Here, uh, we'll officially add it into the game if you want, you know? Like, I think that's the highest honor as a modder, honestly. It's like, when your mod is so good that the company wants to buy, like, your mod off you. 
Like, I know that happened with, like, GTA. Like, GTA 5. Because there was a guy that made loading times faster for GTA 5. And Rockstar legitimately, like, bought it off him and then just, like, patched it into the game. So that, like, loading times would be a bit faster. Which is such a nice story to hear. It's just like, oh, cool. Cool that Rockstar are, like, not completely against modders and they actually want some of their help sometimes. Like, just imagine this, right? Imagine, like, game comes out rough state. Some guy, in one week, manages to make the game the most polished version of the game it can be. Loads super fast, plays super well. Basically, a brand new game. But imagine the devs were like, no, we're not going to bother, like, ask him for help. That would seem bad on our part that we're using a community member for help. But I think a lot of people would just be like happy that the game could be fixed a lot sooner and later, you know? Eh. Come on, there you go. So yeah, I, I basically would just highly encourage like any game developer to do that sort of shit. I don't know why, I just re like randomly I just remembered part way through that that my, my Bang Dream account has still not been restored yet. <laughs> like, I swear it was like, it was like back in fucking April or something shit I asked them and they still haven't done anything about it. I guess my fucking account is just gone forever, like. I might just uninstall Bang Dream from my tablet, honestly. I'm not really arsed to play it again. I might just get, like, if I ever get a Switch, I'd probably just get the Switch version instead. Because at least, like, I have a reason to restart it. Because, like, you can't transfer your mobile account onto uh, Switch anyway. And plus the Switch account, or Switch version, plays way differently than the uh, thingy account, than the, uh, or not account, but the game plays differently on Switch than it does on Yoke. Oh yeah, that just finished, that's so nice, finally. Some progress. And that finished as well. Go on, Joe, get all those dings, those lovely, lovely dings. The Drifter would be proud of you with the amount of dings you could be getting in a second here. Depending if you want to finish this anytime soon. But you know, after like, um... After all my mates are done with the leaving, sir. I really gotta like, hit them up and be like, yo. We gotta like, celebrate this shit. I'm not gonna lie though, I didn't really, I don't even... I actually don't even think I celebrated my uh, leaving, I'm not gonna lie. I think I kinda just vibed. I didn't even celebrate my 18th birthday either, because I was too busy basically studying. Hey, Dammy. How you doing, man? And it's just like... It's kind of sad when you think about it, but I don't really celebrate much stuff, like birthdays and whatnot as well. I kind of just prefer to be quiet about it, you know? Um, yeah, I didn't even celebrate my 21st either. Well, I did. Well, my parents technically did, but I'm not, like... I never really make a big deal out of it, you know? Like, my birthday was actually three days ago, by the way. And, like, I could have been just like, Oh, by the way, guys, everybody, it's my birthday! Fucking praise me with happy birthdays! Let's go! Oh, man, and I was so happy this year, because this year, when I was called down for cake, we didn't even say happy birthday. It's just no awkwardness, just straight into, okay, which part of the cake do you want? It was so lovely. On the 1st of June... The 1st of June 2000 is my birthday. Birth date, actually, should I say. And the birthday was 2022. But yeah, it's, it's just so nice, like, to, um... Like, just, I've not gotten happy birthday sung to me. Because every year I've just felt awkward every time it's sung to me, if I'm being real with you. Yeah, it could be, but I don't know. I think it's just because, like, in recent time, I just don't feel like celebrating much shit. Because I see everything too much as, like, corporate shit, you know? I didn't tell you because, like, I don't know, it's kind of... I think it's... Yeah, it might be available... Hold on, I'm trying to think if there's anywhere... Okay, I know it's definitely displayed on Twitter. Might be displayed on Steam. Instagram, I don't think it is. On YouTube, it wouldn't be. Actually, YouTube, I've made, like, a video every so often. And, um, so on and so forth. Tell you happy birthday. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> there's, there's just nothing I can do about it now. We're just gonna have to wait till next year. If I'm even still streaming at that point. When I'm like, fucking, oh man, 23. The big 2 and 3. I say big 2 and 3 as if that's like a milestone update, but yeah. 
But yeah, no, I know, though, like, even though I don't really celebrate my own much, like, if others wanted to celebrate their own birthdays, I've no problem with that. Like, I know for a fact that, like, when it becomes my friend's birthday, when, um, in July, I'm definitely going to be like, yo, happy birthday. And that also depends, like, if I remember as well. That's, like, another reason I don't really see birthdays as too heavy of a deal anymore to celebrate, is because it's just, like... Well, if I can't remember how many fucking birthdays there are, how am I meant to, like, keep a track on all of them and make sure to say happy birthday, you know? Like, the only real hint I have is, like, the, uh, Snapchat thing, when it has, like, a birthday cake beside somebody's name. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's new, Dammy. I am indeed a dumbass. But yeah, obviously, like... I could have, if I really wanted to, just been like, birthday stream, let's go, but I feel kind of awkward, like, basically just advertising that it's my birthday, so that's why I kind of just kept quiet about it. And to be fair, honestly, keeping quiet about it was kind of nice. It was just like, people still said happy birthday to me anyway, like, I didn't need to tell them. And obviously there were uh, certain people that didn't, and I will admit, I think I was a bit sour about it, but like, I wasn't completely like, oh, how could you forget my birthday when I haven't even mentioned it's my birthday and I haven't talked to you in a few days? Ugh. It's just like... I don't know. It's just... It was an interesting thing to see this year. But yes, by the way, I am 22. I need to remember that now. I'm not the funny 21 number anymore. I'm actually just like... I'm actually kind of sad at that fact. Because the next best number to be now is literally like... Um, fucking 30, because I said I'd be a virgin till 30. Then after that, it's like 69 if I even reach my 60s. And like, obviously reach 69, because funny number. Um, and yeah, and then after that, you know, big hopes for 100. <laughs> it's just like, yup, let's go. And to be fair as well, like, when you think of the true reasons of a birthday, it's kind of like, kind of like, mortifying. It's like, yes, let us celebrate a year closer to your death. But it also can be a good time as well. Like, again, just because I said I don't really celebrate it myself doesn't mean that there wasn't a bit of a celebration. It's just there wasn't a big, like, there's never a big, actually, party. Ugh. There's never a big party in relation to, um, whatchamacallit, for my birthday at all. I don't think there's ever had been, actually. Like, I kind of just grew up where, like, my birthday is basically just family, you know? But I wouldn't mind, though, like, at one point in the future, if friends really wanted to, they could host, like, a fucking birthday party for me. It's just, like, I don't know. I definitely would want to host that for another friend, though, for whatever, like, milestone they hit. Or if I have the money to just do it for them, you know? Wow, my throat is just, like, not having a good time. And I still need to do so much more. We haven't even reached 40% of this. And, like, oh, man. We've been going for quite a while. Oh. At least we're getting a lot of dings. That's the best part about this. Have I done that? I think I have, haven't I? Oh, shit. Wrong one. I forgot when you press sprint and tab, it opens thing. That was a common issue when I've been playing this. Um, I don't think there's anything up there. I think it's just all down here now. Um, but yeah, you know, you never know. Maybe next year, if I'm desperate, I'll start advertising my birthday. <laughs> it's just like, all right, guys, donation button available for today. And now you have to donate because it's my birthday. If you can't even donate five euro to support your favorite streamer, then you're just scabbing off them. You're just like, you're just like leeching off them. Like, I provide this content for free. The least you could do is like pay for my income. God, I fucking hate that so much. I can't remember what streamer that was, but I, I literally, I just cringe so bad at how bad that is. Like, and like now that I'm an actual streamer, I guess I can talk about it from a streamer's point of view. It's just like, I want to, I, I want to, I look up to the guy who literally just does woodwork shit for his stream and gets gifted like 50 subs. Like, he's a, he's a champion. Because he, he's nearly always wholesomely like, oh, don't worry, um, you don't have to sub. It's just there. It's an option. But I, I'm I'm good. You know, like, literally, he's just... He's so cute. Like, he's so just... He's so wholesome, like. He's so fucking wholesome 100, like. 
is a big red at big chunks moment, like. I should aspire to be him. So I'm actually already aspiring to him. I'm I'm so much like him already that I don't even have a donation button. To be fair though, Twitch won't give me one. <laughs> Twitch will never give me one. Because I can't pull in that kind of viewership. And plus, I don't know if I want to take Twitch more seriously. Not yet, anyway. Maybe if there were certain signs, maybe I would. But, like, for now, it's kind of just, like, stream casually on Twitch, re-upload VODs to YouTube, and go from there. I hope I'm getting the majority of the dirt in between these cracks, honestly. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to go, go underneath all that later. For now, though, we'll just do this disc part. Uh, we're 35. You know, actually, I'll take it. We'll wait. <laughs> we will take a quick break, but I will also power wash at the same time. Use those thunder thighs, Joe. Open the water up. Lift it up slowly and carefully. Ah. Water all over my pants. Brilliant. Let's fucking go. No, Twitch, I have not pissed myself live. Calm down. No, but seriously, this fucking feature is so much handier than I actually thought it would be. <laughs> it's actually so good. Oh my god. There we go. Um, right. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really have much topics to talk about. But, I will come up with something soon, I guarantee it. It's just like, I think I just need to give my brain a rest for a moment. So I can actually think of something else to say. Because I've already mentioned, like, Sherry Aubrey's story for the 500th time in a row. Uh, I've already mentioned what's happening with videos. I've mentioned that I'm going on a holiday in July. I've mentioned streams and what's happening with them, I guess, to a certain degree. But yeah, what time are we at, actually? Half one. That's actually not that bad. If I can get 40% before half one, that's actually kind of a new record, like... A new record for cleaning down this fountain. Even though I thought cleaning the fountain was actually going to be the fucking easier one of the three. But even now, it's just like, oh no. This is going to take time. I'm glad I like did the final project in the story first though, before doing this. Because man. If I had to do that right afterwards, I probably would just cry. Actually, I need to see what the final project was. Career mode. Down. Oh, man. Th this backyard is probably the most nostalgic thing I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. No, it's only the stunt plane, actually. And how much is... um, How much is this? Oh, it doesn't even tell me. Okay. I've earned, like, over $200 by now, I think, from doing this job, so... I love the way I said I won't bother with down there, but I started cleaning it anyway. <laughs> like, see, even now, I'm doing it, like, automatically. Just because I mentioned it. That's whatever. It is how it is. You can't always dictate stuff, Joe. Because once I say one thing, I immediately uh, throw that thing out the window. Because I could say that I am going to go off and the first thing I'm going to do is watch Death Note. But I could change my mind. I could be like, you know what, actually? I want to just play Destiny 2 instead. And then continue streaming instead. Nah, honestly, I don't know. I'm just in a weird spot with Destiny right now. I think I, I think I am actually finally sick of it after seven years. Which is not really good, but... I don't know, it is how it is. I still want to tune in weekly, though, for the... Um, for the weekly, weekly, weekly story bits. I definitely want to keep up with that. And I want to stream that, like, live when next week's story piece starts. Wow. Um, God, I can't concentrate because the fucking ground is shining so much, Joe. Like, can you just, can you calm down on pressing tab? I said calm down. Don't press it again, like. It just feels weird pressing it now. Or not pressing it or leaving my finger on it at the very least. Yeah, see, you're leaving things behind. That's why you do this. Wait, do I? I have to clean the outside of this as well, don't I? Oh, dear God. Fucking hell, man. 
I'm just so done. I don't know why I chose fucking Power Wash of all games. I could be playing something else, but I was like, no, Power Wash. Oh yeah, and The Joy of Creation is a game I still need to go back to and finish. I just haven't bothered putting in the time, like. Because again, in the past, like, I didn't have much, like, time to stream. But now that I have time to stream, I could, like, legit, like, put more uh, hours into them. Into the FNAF games and all that other shit. Oh yeah, and speaking about returning to games, uh, my friend, like, was literally playing it yesterday and I was watching him, like, in his stream doing it. It turns out there was a whole entire other half of the game that I still have not played yet. And it's all like a bonus chapter as well, so... Looks like I'm gonna go have to go back to Helltaker eventually. Um, it doesn't have the same tune, so it's not gonna have the same effect, but like it still looked pretty uh, uh, difficult to get through, so... <laughs> Prepare for the future where we go through another fucking three hours of misery trying to figure out the puzzles. Man, but yeah, that shit was clutch yesterday, like, damn it, you really did, like, help, like, pull us out of that fucking rut, like, and then we did the boss, and we went from there, and, like, I, the only reason I'm leaving it, yeah, leaving it for a bit as well is because I've seen how my mate did some of the puzzles already, so I'm gonna wait until it fizzles out my head so I can try and do it kind of, like, blind, and see if I don't remember it, because, like, I don't know, I feel like it's... It's like the same if I just looked up, like, how to do a level, you know? Like, how to do a puzzle in the game on YouTube. So, yeah. God, oh no, that song's in my head again. I need to stop. Actually, can we turn down the master volume just a tiny bit? Options. Yeah, just a tiny bit. You know, actually, water... Down, down, and down particular. It's mainly just the water I want down. Oh, wow. Now it's fucking dead quiet. Okay. Ah, yeah, that's better. It's it's not as loud. But it is, like, dead quiet now, probably to the stream. But it's just... It's to save my sanity, honestly. And to just have some noise in the background. Again, I'm gonna have to try that at some time, like, actually just stream. Like, maybe I'll do some Destiny grinding later. And I'll just have, like, videos on in the background, but obviously I'll have, uh, music play over instead of the background shit I'm listening to. I need to catch up on the fucking Trash Taste podcast. Because that's basically just the main podcast to listen to. I've kind of thrown out all the other ones right now, and one of them went on hiatus anyway, so... I do kind of listen to the Destiny one sometimes, but it's just like I'm already getting my Destiny news. I don't really think I need to listen to the podcast as well. I kind of like their dynamic, though. New Zealander and uh, Australian, I think. I think it's New Zealand that logs from. I could be wrong. I could be just uh, cultural pro. No, that's not cultural appropriation. Cultural appropriation, Joe, is uh, if you wore like a sun hat and started talking Australian all of a sudden. Would that be it? I don't know. Something on that line. I should... Why do I move back? I should, like, move close. Just to make sure it's done. Honestly, I think the next part I'm going to do is, like, the statues and then go from there. Okay, we're on 41. So when I finish this, I want to see if it actually... Uh... Yeah, no, it didn't up it much. I didn't, it didn't even get to see the price. Oh, it's obviously stone, Joe. Why the fuck would a fountain not be made of stone, you fucking dumbass, like? Oh my god. I don't know why I thought the fountain was made of something else. <laughs> like prismarine blocks from Minecraft. To be fair, though, it has that kind of, like, colour that prismarine blocks, it, it, blocks in Minecraft have, you know? Man, there's, like, I think there's eight sections? No, six sections. Judging by one, two, three. Yeah, probably six or five. I just need to get this part clean so I can move on to the next part. Which is beside me because I just realized I still need to do the thing beside me first. Because the bottom of this is still dirty. And it'd be nice to be able to clean all the dirt off of this or all the grime, should I say. There we go, that's it. 
Uh, let's take a look at the fruit of our labor so far. Right, we have top the to, oh, I see one. No, is that? That's dirt, isn't it? I see grime, so yeah, there we go. I fucking knew I saw something. Right, let me move back all the way. Right. Oh man, we have a few options here. I hope the fountain kind of like <laughs> glows at the or not glows, but like I hope it like um does thing at the end. Oh come on, please, just let me get these little bits done. Uh, yeah, move this way. I don't know why I want to do the outside all of a sudden, even though I said I was going to do the thing, but we're going to do it anyway. Oh yeah, I did say I was going to like power wash the gnomes, but I guess not. I guess we're doing these first. I want to hear that, like, ding noise, you know? So satisfying. There we go. But yeah, actually, another thing about birthdays. <laughs> I know I just said, like, oh yeah, I don't really celebrate births and stuff. But Sherry Arbor's birthday, though, is coming up, so, like, you better bet, like, there's gonna be a video out for that day, hopefully. Either a video or a stream. Right now, I have, like, two versions of what the video could be, but I could also just stream it and just go from there. But yeah, I can't wait for that. It's basically... I think it's been a year now since I've worked on Sherry Arbor's story in the background. Like, before, I wasn't taking it as serious. That's why it took so long. But if I was taking it serious, I probably would have been done editing it by now, honestly. But yeah, make sure to tune in on the 6th of June. The same day I would think I was discharged from the hospital or something like that. That's why I chose it. All I know is the 6th is another date that's important to me. Well, will now be important to me because it's Sherry's birthday. And then obviously after that, tune into D3 2022, where I will reveal the next concept for the next character in Sherry Arbor's story. Well, probably the last one for a while now that I realize it. It, it depends, because I don't know if I'm going to start scouting artists again. Because I think I got to like, since I'm getting close to finishing editing the story, I feel like there's just going to be a day where I'm like, you know what? Fuck streaming for this day. I'm going to finish, like, editing Sherry Arbor's story. And then I'm going to actually finish it. And it's like, right, next day we got to actually, like, re-edit, like, at least one and go from there. And decide if I should keep going or if I should make sure to uh, do this, that, and the other. All I'm hoping is, like, the more I edit it, the more, or the less, like, I have to edit the story. Because right now I have to edit quite a bit. Because I had to, like, rewrite certain parts and I had to add new parts in. I had to take some old parts out. Like, even now, like, even though I'm in this, like, volume, I kind of already want to, like, go back over it. Which I probably should before I leave it, but I don't know. I, I think I'm just lazy. I'll leave it till next, like, revision to go over it. Because I know I'm basically going to do another revision at this point. It'd be also handy to do another revision so I can delay getting it out right now. Because, again, I'm going on holiday soon. So it's like, I might as well, like, enjoy the holiday first. And then when I come back, like, go balls to wall and actually finish it. You know? And again, there's nothing wrong with giving it time. Like, I think a lot of my friends have reassured me that, like, it doesn't matter if I don't have a job right now, as long as, like, I'm doing okay myself, you know? And as long as shit around me is good, you know? It's just in their particular situations, it's just, like... Like, if they have a job, they had to get a job to make sure they pay for their shit. If they don't have a job, then they have a reason why they don't as well. I just still feel, like, a bit of pressure for not having a job. And honestly, I've been thinking about, like, doing charity work. But I really need to give that a lot more thought before diving straight in. I could even, like, obviously, adding donations and even doing charity streams on Twitch could also count for me as a job as well. I should force myself to do something like that. Like, every stream is, like... Okay, let's raise this amount of money for this charity for today and go from there. And we'll keep going until it's done. And then we'll switch charities and we'll do it again. You know? But I don't know if, like, how I'd get it all done. I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just lazy. Maybe it's just too much work. That's why, like, I'm lazing on it. 
but I really shouldn't. I should use, like, what I have right now, like, to my advantage and do some good in the world rather than just sitting in my room and power washing the shit out of this fountain. I have to consider it, though. I, I definitely will do an Earth Charity event at some point. Because the last one was, like, all blurry and shit anyway, so it'd be nice to finally get, like, uh, one that's in a bit better quality than it was last time. It's just I need to make sure to line up, like, forfeits and games and reactions, because I think I'm going to have to start introducing, like, reaction streams at that point. Because I did say to myself, oh yeah, Joe, one day, are you going to do, like, a 12-hour stream? I was like, yeah, you know, it probably wouldn't be that bad. But then I was like, Joe, you can't even stream for three hours without being tired. How the fuck are you going to stream for 12? That's four times the amount, like, think, Joe, think! It's just like, ah, yes, actually, that you kind of make sense there, boss. Right, uh... Oh, I did that one, but I didn't do these ones. That's weird. I don't even... Yeah, I, don't, I shouldn't even bother switch. I should just go straight to the next one like this. Try and cut out its shape and then go from there. Okay, now we're at the end, I think. That took quite a bit. But I think our percentages have been going up a lot higher since I've done this. Literally because it's like I'm actually completing the uh, objective. Or completing pieces rather than just power washing a large amount of shit off. Yep, that's it. Right, we'll take a moment to rest and sip water. Oh, I'm so happy to say that, like, we've cleaned 43% in less than two hours. When originally 20% uh, was done in two hours or an hour. Oh, right, come on, Joe. Every moment wasted is another moment not cleaned. I forgot I could even do that. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I've completely forgotten about that. Right, uh, you know, actually, whilst I'm cleaning out here, I might as well... Mm, nah, let's clean one of these. Let's see how tedious it is. Oh, it's already tedious. I don't like it. I might have to leave this to the end. I'm assuming the water, like, goes through him, like, right? Or is he just holding pots for the sake of holding them? I don't know. Again, I kind of hope, like, the fountain will go off at the end, but I feel like it won't. I don't think it's that, like... I don't think the game does, like, yeah, no, like, put on the fountain and all. Why not? Unless they plan to use this area again to have, like... You, like, um... I don't know, power wash something else near here. Baka Desne. But yeah, actually, I meant to also say I actually uploaded TikTok yesterday. Lol, check out my account, bro. At Joseph Night Flyer on TikTok. But I still haven't posted one today. I kind of basically just said to myself, if I don't make videos, then I should start making TikToks. Because, like, I've over a hundred sounds. Oh, wait, this guy's not even done yet, is he? There we go, I think. There, now he's finished. Eh. I mean, I could just clean... From here to the next gnome, instead of just skipping this, honestly. Even if it is a bit boring and tedious. But it is how it is. This is how I want to do things. Um, actually, now that I think about it... Wait. Isn't it around 3 o'clock when that comes out? Because <laughs> honestly, I might actually just go to 50% and watch thing instead. Let's see. Yeah, no, it's coming out. A tree. Okay, yeah. Right. Once we reach 50%, or 3 o'clock, maybe, actually, that's when I'll finish up. Because I can't keep doing this, and I want a reason to stop doing this, honestly. It's, it's actually just... I don't know. Like, I seriously don't know how I did this before and, like, actually stayed with it. Like, again, it must have been, like, the whole sandwich thing, Joe. You know? Your reward was a sandwich for, like, plowing through this, you know? And then at the end of the stream you could do whatever you want and try and finish a bit more but, yeah. And ding. I'm glad all these ding though. If they didn't ding then we'd have, we'd have some problems here. We would definitely have some problems. Oh yeah, and you may have noticed as well that the fucking uh, alerts and chat swapped back around from the last day. I just decide. I think it's just best to leave it the way it was, even though it is kind of covering the uh, 
uh, thingy percentage of uh, how much is done, but you could still see that. Like, it's not that badly covered, honestly. Unless, like, the fuzziness makes it hard to see. But I'm always telling you, anyway, the stream viewers, or VOD viewers, depending on whether you're watching this in the past or not. One thing I will say, though, if I say an opinion, just be, be sure to uh, understand that opinions do change over time, and my opinion might change on certain things. So I feel like I've said a lot of shit before in the past, and it's always, like, changed, so, yeah. Nothing really ever stays the same with me. I know some people don't want certain people to change, but, like, I think changing is, like, for the best, honestly. Like, you know, if I was always in this position, and, like, let's say in the future I become a big streamer, then obviously it would be better for me to be a big streamer so I can actually, like, feel like I'm, like, participating in a job. That's giving me a paycheck so I can pay for shit, make the streams better, make videos better, make sure I offer story better. And overall being able to move out of the house, you know? I think that's like, that's probably one of my ultimate goals if I ever get a job, is basically just to move out of the house. But that's like very wishful thinking. And honestly, I think the moment like I move out of this house, the moment I lose this internet... And the moment I lose this internet is the moment I stop streaming. And the moment I stop streaming is when everything might start falling apart. But then again, that's the whole point of having an actual job, is so that I can, like, have my backup plan, you know? It is depressing shit to talk about, but... Like, I mean, I've been doing YouTube for over nine and a half years. Yeah, literally, on this, like, month, it's half a year now. So it's always good to have, like, a... It's definitely especially good to have a backup now that I'm an adult, you know? Because before I used to excuse, like, doing YouTube and I was like, oh, it's, yeah, it's not really, like, I'd love for it to be a job, so I'm going to start building up now whilst I'm still in secondary, but, like, now it's just like, okay, I can't really do this forever. Sherry Albert's story couldn't also take off as well. Because, like, that's the thing, right? No matter how hard I work on Sherry Albert's story, it, like, as much as I'd love for it to take off, it probably won't. Like, it'll probably just not catch the wind that I'd love for it to catch and... Things just fall apart from there. I just go and get a normal job and I have a boring life. But that's the whole point of me even just streaming and making videos and even writing a story in the first place. Is I just don't want a normal boring life, you know? Like as, as stressful as this can be, like wanting to be a streamer or a YouTuber or so on and so forth. It's a better pathway than what I've heard from a 9 to fucking 5, like... Like, even one of my mates who's, like, now doing his leaving, he said, like, he worked at, like, a place. I can't name the place. But he said, oh, Joe, I understand now why, like, you've been struggling to get a job for a bit. Like, just never work a 9 to 5, bro. But I don't think I have a choice. Like, that's all the options I have. But they all require so much from me. And is it my fault that I can't be up to standard? Yes. I'm not going to lie. It must be my fault. Because there's no way school and college would fail me on both fronts, honestly. Because, like, I, if anything, I know for a fact I've been getting things in college to look at. But I just, for some reason, just didn't look at them. I was weird in college, honestly, now that I think back to it. Like, sometimes, like, there'd be times where it's like, I'd go home early. Like, not ditching classes in particular, but, like, ditching certain moments where I could actually stay and have fun with my fucking life. But for some reason, I went home instead to do whatever the fuck. Definitely not college work, anyway. But honestly, the best, like, college moment I think I can remember right now as well, I think it was, like, in second year, when one of my, like, college mates, like, fixed my laptop for briefly. He actually, like, managed to be able to let me back into my computer so I could transfer the fucking highlights of 2018 into, like, my current, like, into a dongle, into my current, uh, or not this computer, but the uh, old white HP computer I had. Pick up equipment. Oh, I can <laughs> pick up the ladder from here. Oh, shit. I need to drop it over there, don't I? Fuck. How do, how do I get in? Jeez. There we go. But yeah, that was such a mission and a half. I kind of was annoyed, though, that that lecture was just annoyed that I was just sitting at the class. Like, do you not see me trying to do this ultimate hacker thing here? Like... This is going to take some time, like, and you fucking forced me out of the room, like? I paid to go into this college. I deserve to be in this room as well. 
I don't know, I think she was just fucking uptight because it's like, mm, this guy didn't pay for this part of the college course, like, maybe he should just leave. It's like, fuck off, like, I'm not even listening, like, st I'm still annoyed to this day about that. But still, I managed to ha transfer the highlights to 2018, and then it came out June 2019. <laughs> and then, I didn't do the highlights of 2019, I did the highlights of 2020, and then after highlights 2020, I did the highlights of 2019, then the highlights of 2017, and then the highlights of 2021. It's such a confusing order. Oh yeah, and I still have to do, like, the fucking... Start making, like, the highlights of 2022 thing, I think, at this point. But the problem is... Like, sure, the first part of the year is okay. Let's just say first half. But then when it comes to streams, I don't think I'm gonna be arsed to, like... Rewatch, like, hours of footage just to be able to, like, cut it down into the video, like... That's why, like, the highlights, of, like, before weren't so bad. Because, like, okay, I'm just reviewing, like, old videos that are, like, basically 10 to 20 minutes long, depending on what it's about. But if I incorporated streams now into the highlights 2022, it's just like, bro, there's so much, like. But that's why, at the same time, I've been, like, trying to make some clips recently. So, like, if push comes to shove, I could actually just say to myself, all right, you have some of these, like, stream clips instead, just use those. <clears throat> oh, and for the highlights of 2022 as well, there's the big question of, like, should I divide it into, like, per channel? Or should I, like, include all the channels in the one highlights? Because, like, I don't know. I feel like maybe I should, like, for each channel. Because especially for, like, um... But then again, <laughs> at that point, then, like, the stream or the clips channel would have to just be merged with the... Joe Snipe Flare one, because, like, a lot of the clips are just re-upload a thing, and if they're not, they're usually, like, clips from Twitch anyway. So, like, obviously, they'd have to be merged and that sort of shit. I don't know. Big questions I still need to ask myself. Maybe I will just start working on the highlights of 2022 soon. Even though, like, at this point, it's more of just a catch-up play rather than finishing it, because I still need to wait till the end of the year for it to be finished. I know for a fact, anyway, I want to try and get out before the 22nd of December, because that's, like... That's Joseph Night Flyer's 10th anniversary. Like, 10th birthday, essentially. And that's just... Fucking hell, that, that is mad to think about. 10 years of being a failure on YouTube, man. Holy shit. Madness. Okay, I say failure, but... Honestly, this year, I think I've seen... Well, maybe between last year and this year, I've seen the best growth, like, in a while. So you never know, maybe by the time I'm about to quit, like, everything, it's just like, oh, by the way, you're actually doing good on YouTube now. If anything, actually... On YouTube, in terms of watch time, if I, um, legit, if I, uh, poured, or if I got a nurse 600 hours of watch time from people, and then if I got, uh, let's see, I'm nearly at 100, so let's just round to 100. If I got, like, 900 subscribers as well, I could actually be fucking in the YouTube partnership program again, which would be so weird to think about, but I don't know. I don't really believe in myself enough to reach that, but, like, it's still a cool thought, though, to look at. Oh, yeah, and that's only for the Joe's Night Flare channel as well. It's because of all the VODs I've uploaded, honestly, and, like, the movies. And even, like, I don't think I've mentioned this on stream, but the fucking FNAF movie overtook, like, the copyright troll video. Like, finally, after all these years, like, the th king has been dethroned, like... Hmm. It's been five years ago... Sorry, it was five years ago when uh, Goat Simulator 1 on the Xbox 360 was overtaken by copyright troll. And obviously, it's just so mad to think about that, like, um, the FNAF movie is now the new best. Sorry, I think I saw something up there. Is there something standing up there? Looks like there's a bird on top of the hot, st uh, hot dog stand. Uh, did I? Yeah, I did that, obviously. Right. How many have I done? I've done four. One, two, three. And there's just another four. So it's literally the next four. Uh, give me a moment, actually. I'm being very analytical at the moment. I'm going to just look at my... Uh, I'm going to look at me blared and views on the FNAF movie video I made. I just realized in the future, though, if in the future, do I, should I tack on, like, the fucking FNAF, like, movie onto the new episodes or the streams? 
Oh man, of course KSI uploads now as well. Fuck off, like why now? <laughs> well, an hour ago, but shush. I have to see it in, like nearly an hour ago. Um, right, Joe, don't get distracted, brother. Type in Joseph Knight Flyer. Cat, cat blocks is on for some reason. Oh, yo! Let's fucking go! Wait, hold on, I need to show this. Guys! We did it! We fucking- we've hit 100 subs on the Joe's Night Flyer channel. Bruh, I'm so glad I caught that live, because this morning it was like, okay, it's like 96, 97, yeah, okay. It'll probably take, like, a few more days at, at the rate I'm growing, but nope. Now we're at 100 subscribers. That is so weird to think about. I would show um, the other channels, but basically the other channels are also at 100 as well. So it's so weird to see the three main channels all finally at 100. Especially when, like, Joe's Night Flare at one point used to be the channel ahead, and now it's the only channel that's, like, or the third last channel in terms of subscriber rank, which is just so weird to me. Right, anyway, um, what we call it? Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Do this, sorry, wrong one. I still have that in. I still have that card down below if any of you ever want to donate to Ukraine, by the way. I don't think I'm going to take it away anytime soon. Unless I sign with a company and they want me to take it out for whatever reason. Um. Yeah, sorry. I was, uh, whilst I was checking that. So yeah, no, Joe's Night Flyer has 100 subs. Actually, I'm going to tweet that out. I need to tweet that. It's tweet worthy. The only time I, I'll actually use Twitter is like talking about subscriber milestones. Uh, yeah, just call it that. Just replace that. Why not? Do this. Yes, Joe. Capitals. Capitals, Joe. Do that. Right, now it's finally time to check. Uh, popular. It's the most popular. Hold on. Okay, sorry. This is going to take a bit, but I need to look at two other channels now. I need to look at my other channels. The Night Flyer. Huh. The Night Flyer has exactly 444 uploads. Interesting. So, okay, there's that. Then, the Flyer's... Flips? Oh, why is that? Why... Did you show me that? That's such a disgusting recommendation. I hate that so much. I hate when fucking... Ugh. Icky. Most popular. Okay. Yeah, so the clips doesn't even come close. This is fucking mad as well, right? So, let me... Nah, I won't show it. I'll just say it. So, the Night Flyer overtook my most popular videos with first the uh, season of the plague, which now is on 8.3k uh, views. And obviously the Guardian Games one is what really did well as well. Because like I think this was like April and May. I think I was like at the time, okay, once a month I'm going to have a banger. But then it never really happened. But, uh, yeah, Guardian Games has the four Guardian Games short on the Night Flyer channel uh, has 14k views. That used to be the top amount of views I've ever gotten on YouTube, period. 21k views. 21k. If I could just do maths real quick, which I can't. That's 7k more views, right? So 21 minus uh, 14, right? If we do 20 minus 14, that's 6. Add an extra 1, that's 7. A 7,000 view difference. Like, holy shit. That is fucking mad. Like, honestly, I'm having an out-of-body experience right now. I'm so just... I'm so flabbergasted and confused on, like, 
what is even going on anymore. Because, like, um, it, it's just so weird. Like, I'm not going to play it, but it's just, like, this shit is just weird to me. Like, inc including myself, 116 people like this. They thought, you know what, I like the looks of this. I'm going to give it a like. And no, I don't know if that's because the, the dislikes are disabled or not, but nobody's disliked it. I'm surprised, though. When you see the old model and you see, like, hear my voice, you think people would immediately dislike because I'm not a girl. Oh, man, even my Psycho stream did well. got 215k views. Or Yeah, yeah Joe, 215k views. Yeah, you're fucking that good, like, aren't you? But 215 views, like... I don't know, sorry. I just have to just fanboy for a minute. Or not fanboy, but just freak out. It's this kind of shit that just keeps me going. Maybe May is just the lucky month for me. Maybe May is when I just release a banger every time. <sighs> right. I have to start doing stuff like that. Like, there is no game and shit as well. Right, just camera. Uh, oh, no, that's F5, Joe. Wrong one. But yeah. 100 subs on the Joe's Night Flare channel. New top video, 21k views. It's insane shit, man. This is... This is fucking trippy to think I live in this reality now. And this all started because my internet provider were like, lol, we can upgrade your infrastructure. That's when this all shit, all the, all the stuff happened. And you know what? Just for that, I'm at least going to finish the outside rim of this thing. Wait, yeah, this hasn't... Yeah, okay, so of course it hasn't been doing the inside. I thought for a minute it was. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, we'll finish the outside rim of this, and we'll get the gnome statues done, and then I'll go off for today. We'll co probably continue, like, another day when, uh, or power wash in particular, and another day whenever I'm bothered. It's just, like, I don't know, maybe when I don't have much to do, I'll play it. Or maybe if, like, um, my friend wants to play later, we can play it. Or a friend. I don't know if multiple friends have this. I don't think so, though. I think it's only me and Brandon, like... I don't know why I keep saying my friend instead of just saying his name. Because, like, I call him Brandon all the time. And you know him as Brando Bear anyway, like. You know, it's not like I'm saying his full name, which I still can't remember what his full name is. Like, that's what it's like with me. Like, I fucking don't remember anyone's full name. I remember certain people's full names. But, like, I don't remember everybody's. Especially, like, if I've heard their name attached to another second name before. Or, uh, last name. Oh yeah, I, I, let me pick back up real quick on that conversation about not caring about birthdays and shit, right? It's like, I don't really care too much about corporate events anymore. Or events that are just fucking monetized as shit, you know? Like, sure, it can be kind of great cracking games and shit, and it's nice to fuck around in, but it's just like... I'm gonna be real. Like, only because I have the silver skull mask will I actually wear it on Halloween. If I didn't have Halloween masks, I just wouldn't bother to buy one, honestly. Like, sure, I'd probably... It depends on, like, how much, like, money I'd be making at that time as well. If I was alone, living in my own place, and, like, trick-or-treaters knocked on my door, if I was well off, I'd be like, yeah, you know, I'll buy a box just for them, you know? I don't want to... Like, there's a difference between I don't want to participate in myself, but then ruining the fucking magic for others, you know? But it's just, like, um... I don't want to, like... I wouldn't want to ruin the magic too much for them, so if, obviously if I had the money, I'd buy, like, a box of sweets for them and, like, give them a box of sweets. But if I didn't, then I'd I have to unfortunately just say, yeah, sorry, I don't have any right now. You know? But now that I think about it, I'd hate to see depressed children's faces, so uh, I might actually have to just... <laughs> I might have to go back on my word and just get it, if, even if I was, like, uh, behind on paying bills. Um... Maybe I could commit tax fraud. <laughs> I just immediately just turns to tax fraud. Nah, no. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just like, especially, it's just, my awakening to this was like when shops started selling shit like way earlier before the holiday is even present. So like people, uh, or shops, sorry, we'll start, like, for example, it, it, this all really is kind of snowballs, like, in, or at least I know it's a snowball within, let's say, maybe August, September time, 
when shops start getting like Halloween sweets, costumes, you name it, all that shit in, right? And then what do they do right after? Actually, no, what do they do whilst the event is still ongoing, the Halloween day? They get Christmas shit and put it right beside it. And Christmas for that point as well is not even for another two months. Then, I know, okay, I will admit also, there is a point to selling shit early as well. You know, so in case some people just don't, won't have the time later to buy shit, it's nice to give them the time now. But still. What if, um, or not what if, after fucking Christmas, guess what happens around that time or even the start of January? Oh look, we suddenly have Easter eggs to sell. Let's sell Easter eggs. It's just like, bro, like, Easter wouldn't even be close, and you're not even giving Valentine stuff yet. Like, Valentine's is next, but you're giving Easter shit now. It's like, bro. I swear, it's definitely around January, February. And obviously, like, closer to Valentine's, you'll get, like, a few Valentine's thing. I think they don't really care about stacking up Valentine's shit, because it's just, like, there's only a limited amount of people that'll be able to participate in it, especially, like, for someone like me who just, like, doesn't really, well, won't get much, I don't think. I don't think. Have I? I think prior years, it's just, yeah, I've just got shit from my mom. That's really it, like. But, like, um. Like, I don't think I've ever had a girlfriend to give chocolates to. Actually, maybe in secondary, did I? I might have given, like, some of my friends chocolates before. I might have. As a friendly gesture, obviously. Not to get in their pants, there's a difference. But, um, yeah, obviously, there's Valentine's and there's Easter. And now we're kind of in that period where it's, like, I think even after Easter, they just start, like, selling fucking summer shit. Even though we're still in spring at that point. Which, actually, to be fair, though, February, March, April. Yeah, no, by the time it's May, anyway, summer shit is kind of acceptable. Um, Obviously, there's also, like, the Mother's Day and the Father's Day sort of shit. But, like, everybody makes a bigger deal out of Mother's Day, I think, for... Whatever reason, that's kind of, I guess, sexist in a weird way. <laughs> because it's like, fathers and mothers all matter, you know? And, like, even if it was, like, International, like, Girls' Day, Boys' Day, and all that shit, you know, same difference, like. Now that I remember, I need to remember when fucking Father's Day is shit. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, wait, fuck, I just reminded myself it's Father's Day soon. Because, again, with a holiday like that, it's just, like, it's not me that I'm celebrating for. It's my dad that I'm celebrating for. Which I think he deserves, honestly, because, like, during Christmas, like, my family are only really the people to get shit for him. Because the rest of his family, like, doesn't live with us, like, near us at all. So, it's hard to get to him, like, or get shit to him, you know? That's all I'll say about that, because it just starts to get too personal after that. But yeah, after summer, I guess, like, it kind of just calms down then for a bit, and then the cycle continues again from, uh... Whatchamacallit, the cycle continues again from Halloween and goes from there. It's just because, like, a big deal is made out of these events that I just fucking hate it, like, for some reason. I guess I'm just turning into a Grinch now. I don't know, maybe I just need a different, like, Halloween, Christmas, birthday kind of, like, time. You know? But I don't see that time happening anytime soon. See, I think maybe I'm doing all this as a way to say, like, I kind of do want to celebrate them, but I just don't want to bother making a big ruckus about it, even though I've technically made a big ruckus about it by talking it on stream, but I sure be look at whatever. I'm a hypocrite. Go on, kill me. Go on, do it. You have the finger of the trigger. Go on, do it now. Oh, you can't, can you? Because we're in Ireland. We don't have fucking guns like you. Bleed and eat it. I say that, but there, there's probably a way to get guns in Ireland anyway, like... Uh, yeah, no, we're, we're not going into that topic. About guns and shit. Maybe another day. Maybe when my brain cells are more functioning. Because right now my objective is just, like, talk, waffle about shit, spray the walls, spray the go, like, two, yeah, two uh, gnomes left and go from there. Oh, man. Can't wait, though. Let's go watch the next episode of the thing. I'm kind of curious now to see what they're going to do. Because I think I think at this point, everybody sung a song except the subunit. Um, I keep calling them Monster Girls. They're called Rebirth, Joe. They're, that's their subunit name. Um, 
I, I they still haven't sung their song yet. So I'm assuming like in the next few episodes they're gonna sing a song. It's gonna be a few episodes buffer without a song. Then there's gonna be something at the end that triggers like a new song that all the groups sing together. Um, I kind of I think it'd be kind of cool if it was like uh, "Love the Life We Live," but I, th I think it's gonna be something else. I think it's gonna be like another new song. It, uh, to be honest though, it was actually quite a surprise that a few episodes ago, like, they actually played the fucking... and animated the, um, Tokimeki Runner song. I, I was like, yo, no fucking way, they actually animated this shit. And like, even me just saying that, just smiling and grinning, I'm actually like tearing up a bit just thinking about it. Because that song was like the introduction to the All-Star Games for like so long, and now I also know it's like the song that was in the anime as well. So strange. Right, one more, one more, or three more, four more sets of walls, and then one golem. Golem? Uh, no. Don't know why I thought a golem. Huh. <sighs> Maybe I should just start playing some multiplayer games on stream soon. I know I left like Overwatch and Valorant to like a sub goal or a Valorant goal, but why? Why not? You know, I think it'd be more fun that way. Unless I have an itch for some reason to play it, which I don't really, because I remember the last time I went in. I did, like, I did have fun, but I just don't feel like playing it much. I'm just weird, right? Because I don't really play games for, like... I do play games to have fun in, but I also play them for an objective, like... If I'm playing an online multiplayer, it's like... I don't really... I'm not really having too much fun, and the objectives are kind of meh. So it's just like, bruh. <laughs> it's just like, bruh. And again, that's why I prefer single-player games, because we get to go through a story, I get to commentate on it, we get to play it, and just just go from there, like, you know? Oh, man, okay, no, never mind, there's more wall. Apparently I was lazy and I didn't get that part of the wall done. Man, my fucking finger is itching like shit. Must be the hairs on it. Oh, I just realized I'm going to have to do all the fucking top of that whenever I come back to this. At least when I do, like, if I do decide to come back to Power Wash Simulator, like, tomorrow, for example, I'll already have, like, the, like a lot of this fountain already done, so it might actually encourage me to do it. Whereas if I just left it as it is, then I don't know. Okay, let me just cut it off so I don't Power Wash everything forever. Well, I don't want to Power Wash forever. And da na 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 Those are the best days of my life. You know, theoretically though, even if like even if I do end up just getting a job and I can't get Sherry's Arbor story to take off, if the streaming and stuff and YouTube doesn't do too well, I could always just turn around and be like, yo Joe, train that singing voice. We're going back to trying to make music. Cause I do have a MIDI keyboard, it's just like I just don't like this program I'm using, and I'm just not arse learning another program right now. Maybe that should be a stream. That would actually be such a good stream idea. Just put it in the making music category. Because it's been a while since, like, I've actually, like, produced any music, you know? The last time I made a song was the, um, The Night's Electronic Charge. And, like, that's shit, you know? Like, compared to It's Time to Think. Like, the vocals for It's Time to Think is, like, a bit off, and... The instrumental is a bit off, but like I, th I still think that's the best song I've made. But then again, we can't forget the fucking Garage Band banger called uh, "Dark Knight Flyers" outro song. You know, wait, that one? Yeah, that one is done. Okay, so when I'm done this, when I'm done all this shit, like that's when I'll pop off like these next three uh, slabs of the fountain. You slabs, you slobs, you s <laughs> you suck up my knob. I had to process the words there for a second just to make sure they came out right. Um, I was thinking about something there and I just forgot it immediately. I do know that, like, I could definitely start playing song or uh, games that, like, I haven't been able to play for a while. I really need a wait to see for uh, Hemley's Away 3 to come back around on offer, then I might actually buy it. Because it's just like, I think I need to cap the series. I think I finally need to play Emily's Away 3 so I can just move on 
and not bother with the series anymore. Because I'm assuming there's not really going to be much after that. Because that has to be like the like finale for it. Right. We're back. I say we're back. Jonesy is back. Let me just quit out the game first. Righty O. Oh. Thank you so much for watching this very talkative stream because like there's nothing in the game for me to bounce feedback off of. Uh, obviously, if you want to watch me live, make sure to follow me on Twitch slash Joe's Night Flyer. Um, Twitch.tv slash Joe's Night Flyer. Maybe I should just say it like that from now on. But also, if you do so desire, you can subscribe to the channel, comment if you want, and like it if you want. That felt weird that I did that backwards. I don't want to do that ever again. But anyway, thanks for watching. Oh, excuse me. And I might stream later. Bye.